Hi everybody and welcome to July's Team Brief. Uh, a few things happening this month which I just wanted to uh, talk to you about. Uh, first, you're all aware of the enormous pressures that the NHS is under. Uh, the demand on our services continues to grow um, and we need to be able to respond to those. Um, I attended recently a, 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 an, a conference uh, supporting and celebrating the fact that we've put about 200 people now through our uh, We Improve program, which is a, a, a program about uh, giving people the skills to improve uh, things. Um, it's absolutely critical that we have the right skills to know how to improve our processes, to improve patient flows, to improve anything that goes on in the organisation in order that we can respond to the huge demands that, we're, that uh, continue to grow on the NHS. In light of that, one of the other areas that we're trying to improve, and I'm sure you're all aware of the significant pressure that our adult mental health services have been under. We've, at, at times over the last year, we've had to place people out of county. There's been long waits for uh, inpatient care as well as uh, outpatient therapies. Um, and so we're embarking on a fairly major transformation program, an all-age um, mental health transformation program which will both concentrate on the fundamentals of care, but also on really improving all of those processes to make all of our teams work better together to get greater efficiencies so that people don't have to wait and that we can hopefully support people to be better out of hospital. We don't need to rely on our inpatient care as much as we've had to in the past. Um, we're also doing a major transformation program in our CAM service, again a service that's seen unprecedented levels of increased demand, some 20% increased referrals over the last year to our children's mental health services. And so again, we've been working with our staff um, to design new care pathways for children so that we can both um, improve our responsiveness in our access team but also ensure that all the children that need it can get into treatment as soon as possible. There are two really important transformation programs, two really important ways of improving what we do, and I'm absolutely committed that we can give our staff those skills. It says in our pledge, which are the staff pledge, that uh, we will give people the skills that they require to do the job, but also listen to them. And part of that work in the CAM service is about having a design week where we've uh, heard what people have said to try and build that into the design going forward. Um, Finally, another area that we really want to improve uh, around the culture of the organisation is about the freedom to speak up. From my perspective, my biggest protection against poor care is staff and speaking up if they see something that isn't right. Speak up if they see someone being rude or disrespectful, both to patients but also to each other. We need to constantly be vigilant to maintain the highest possible levels of care. And to that end, we had a great event uh, led by Rob G. Pauline Lewitt, our Freedom to Speak Up Guardian, organised it. Rob G., a performance poet. Um, it was also attended by Henrietta Hughes, the National Freedom to Speak Up Guardian. And we're hoping to repeat that, so please look out for that in the autumn. It's going to be a great event. Um, it, it, receive really rave reviews about making people think about the uh, about speaking up um, and, and both the barriers and what we can do to, to overcome them. Finally, I just wanted to celebrate one or two achievements. Um, the Leicestershire Round, hopefully you heard about it. It's a 110 mile footpath around Leicestershire and I and a group of about 120 others as a relay took on the Leicestershire Round and got around it in 23 hours 58 minutes, a combination of cycling, running, walking. Um, thank you to all those that took part. We were raising money uh, for children's uh, services. Um, and uh, we've so far raised over £10,000. If you want to give any more to that. We've got a Just Giving page which I'm sure you can see and it'd be great if uh, you could contribute uh, to that. We're already planning next year's so if you want to get involved in a, an event next year uh, to raise more money for our charity Raising Health then uh, please, please get involved. Finally, um, we uh, also want to celebrate and uh, recognise the achievements of staff and uh, you'll all remember that we have a Valued Star Award and I just wanted to give it another plug to say if you're aware of any of your colleagues that are going over and beyond the call of duty or showing and demonstrating the values of the trust 
um, trust, respect, integrity and compassion, uh, please nominate them for Value Star Awards. And if they're successful, they get a surprise visit from me um, to help say thank you to them for what they do. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, I'll speak to you next month. Bye.